Old Man Sarge here. I have returned with the Russian pieces. Uh, the infantry are the same. Um, obviously they're different colors, but as far as what they can build. The Russians also can build this ski unit that's kind of like uh, one of those Everglades, only it's for snow. And I'm using that color right there for the Chinese. Here are my truck and my mechanized right there and then I've got artillery and any aircraft I'm using the Katushas for my advanced artillery in this game for now there's the fleet I'm using uh, the 1914 uh, submarine as the coastal submarine which comes in the game I don't know what I'm going to do for the destroyers yet but I suspect that at the beginning you might just see destroyers turn on their side to represent coastal destroyers or pardon me TBDs which are the tor torpedo boat destroyers there are the various tank options light tank, medium tank, heavy tank and again I'm teasing this right now but there's a tank destroyer and I'm gonna I have my own house rules for how we're gonna use them also in the game, I'll put this in the shadow so it's easier to see, there is a scout vehicle, BA-6 scout car. And I'm going to read, um, after this video, I'm going to talk about the two specialized units that are going to be house rules for now, and maybe Historical Board Gaming will put out a rule set for them for their game of Historical Board Gaming, or Global 1936. Here's the aircraft available, transport, medium bomber, uh, a heavy bomber, those are pretty easy to tell, tactical fighter, and then on this side I have two different fighters, one's early and the other one is uh, the MiG, I think it's the MiG-3. And so those are my Russian pieces, Russians typically don't have a lot of options in the game, they do however get this which is uh, it says guard on the bottom but essentially um, if the Russians uh, win a combat they could develop guard units which have plus one attack and plus one defense so those are my Russian pieces these are from a different game and the light lighting isn't doing very well but here is a um, T-34 that I painted up and that would be that Axis and Allies piece. This is not painted up yet but this is an example of the SU-76 which was used um, as a tank destroyer against German tanks and that guy is represented right there and that's a historical board gaming piece. I don't have a T-26, so I brought out my BT-7 instead. They actually had more BT-7s than any other light tank at the beginning of the war. I think they had somewhere in the neighborhood of 7,000. This is a KV-2. This is what historical board gaming uses to represent their heavy tanks, which is right there. And that's a KV-1. I hope somebody can make a piece of the KV-1 at some point because to me this is more indicative of what the heavy tank was that the uh, Russians used was the KV-1. Same chassis by the way as the uh, KV-2. The KV-2 had a howitzer in it and it wasn't really uh, it was more of a, a mobile artillery than it was a tank. And then finally the motorized. So that's basically the truck that's uh, you know, if you were to find a truck, there would be the example of the truck. So anyway, those are my Russian pieces and some Russian uh, pieces that I painted from a different game. And I'm going to now take the tank destroyers that I have and, I, and, the, and the one armored car I have. I'm expecting more soon. And I'll go over and read what the rules that I'm going to have for the 1936 game and kind of the... I guess the fluff behind why it makes sense and I don't think that they would break the game in the way that I've designed it and I'll explain that in just a couple mom more moments uh, 
So this video is going to be kind of a short one, but uh, the next video that I'll put out, I'll discuss my home house rules, and it's in regards to the two pieces that you see there, the tank destroyers for all different uh, sides, and the armored car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, this is these are I'm just going through all the armies before I get to discussing the game more in detail, and then I'll show you the game set up. And then um, you'll have to wait a little while because next week we are going to actually play the entire game and we will have a battle report on it. So this is just kind of the little teaser videos, not very long. So thank you for any of your comments and uh, look forward to you watching our uh, production of our reenactment of World War II through night global 1936 uh, historical board gamings. Um, version of essentially miniature, I guess, strategic gaming. So thank you very much.